electric. Hi everyone, welcome back to the EV Puzzle for another energy related video. Today's is about this Bluetti EB55 portable battery storage system. So it's a portable generator, it's a solar battery, um, it is a power station. Great little devices and I'll tell you how I've been using it. I've had it for a couple of months now and been using it. But I want to explain why I think this little one, or this medium sized one, is a bit of a Goldilocks of batteries to be honest. And the reason for that is, uh, as you probably know if you've seen my videos before, I've had a couple of these on test. I've had an EcoFlow Delta Mini and an EcoFlow River Mini. Um, one's, I wouldn't say super big, but one's bigger, it's bulky, it's more power, it's 1400 watts of output, plus with X-Boost it goes even higher. It's got uh, more um, storage capacity of energy than this Bluetti. But it's a bit more awkward to carry and its shape is more oblong and there's two handles but I tend to grab it from one and it dangles. It's, it's just a bit more awkward. The smaller um, EcoFlow River, that's smaller power output. It's 300 watts, 600 with X boost. It's smaller with a lot less capacity. So it's too small for jobs. You know, I was thinking about, can I take that out and cut the hedge with it the other day? And my hedge trimmer is 380 watts, so will X-Boost work with it? But equally, the storage capacity, the little River Mini probably doesn't have enough storage to do that job. So I'd need the bigger one, but the bigger, more awkward one. So what I actually tend to do, I always seem to be picking up this Bluetti. Um, so even while I've got the three choices, the small, the bigger, and this middle, middle sized one, this one, is the one that I'm choosing more and more and more. Now, why is that? And it's not because of the top trump game that you might play about which gives it the highest output, which has the highest capacity, um, which has the more USB-C or USB storage ports. It's, it's not which is the best on paper. It tends to be that this one is more ergonomic and this one's more practical. So the handle is more centrally placed. It's a square box, it's not oblong, it's easy to carry, it's balanced well in your hand when you carry it. It's a mid-size storage, so it hasn't got as much power as the EcoFlow Delta Mini that I've got, which is 800 and something watt hours. This is 500 and something watt hours. So it's you know two thirds of the capacity. This is 700 watt output where the EcoFlow Delta is 1400 watts, but 700 is plenty for most things. <laughs> Just the other day I needed some power source out in a car to heat up some plastic to peel away um, from the inside of a car. So, uh, you know, the usual hairdryer trick. And which was the one I grabbed? It was this one. Which was one was the one I grabbed when I cut the hedge and did some hedge trimming? It was this one. Which one do I tend to use when I'm out with my drone? Well, sometimes that's the small one if it's more portable, but uh, actually the one I'm grabbing first is more often than not this one. Because again, if I'm using the smaller one with smaller power capacity, then I have to recharge it more. Where this one, I can take it out for a task and it's got enough battery storage that you can do the task, do the job, and then you don't have to immediately charge it up. It can be left for longer and use it. it. It's just a more practical system to use quickly and regularly. So this really is like a Goldilocks battery. It's not the highest spec. It's not the highest capability. It's not the fastest charging. It doesn't have the most solar capability of plugging solar panels, panels into it. It's 200 watts of solar panels, whereas the EcoFlow Delta Mini is 300 and the little mini river a river mini that was just 100 watts of solar capability so this is like the midpoint but it's the one i'm picking up more and more and more but it's not because of the specs it's because of that practicality of it and that's what i've learned from testing these batteries it's not all about which is the highest spec it really is about which is the most convenient for you because that's what we're talking convenience so as i said going out and cutting the hedge well why didn't i just use an extension cable and it's a small improvement it's a small change not having to run an extension cable not having to wind it up not having to move the extension cable every time you're moving with the hedge trimmer it was much easier just to pick up the battery and pick up the hedge trim it in the two hands and just walk off and it was just more practical not by a huge amount but a little bit so it really does make sense so bluetti this eb55 what does it actually have on it and it can output 700 watts across all of the power outputs that it has it has a 12 volt output it has two 13 pin uk outlets it has four usb outlets and one usb c outlet 
the inputs for power. Um, this little round one, that's from the AC supply. And then this uh, orangey colored one, that's for the DC input from solar panels, maybe even a wind turbine. Um, but also you can get a cable that connects this to the DC output of your car, so the cigarette lighter. So this can go in the back of the car and with the right cable, it can charge up from your car as well. Um, surprisingly, it's the other things other than the specs that I found really good about this one. The EcoFlow ones, the fan seems to come on more. It's a bit noisier and this one's not. So it's, it's more pleasurable to use. Uh, I, I did lend it. I've lend, lent both the EcoFlow one and this one to a friend that does dog shows and they preferred this one as well. And, and there wasn't any influence from me on that. They just found it more practical in the size and even the color. They actually liked this bright color so they couldn't miss it, etc. And this one has a wireless charging pad on the top, whereas the ones that I've been testing from uh, EcoFlow don't. So, so this one just seems to fit the requirement. It's, an, it's a bit cheaper as well because it's lower capacity. There's less batteries inside. It's a little bit cheaper, a um, few hundred pounds cheaper than the EcoFlow one. So, yeah, this little Goldilocks battery is the one I'm going to more often. So if I was recommending which one to buy, well, of course, it depends on what your requirements are. But I'm finding I'm getting more use out of this one than the others. So for my requirements here, if I'm using this one more, this is the one I'd recommend to buy, even though it charges slower, less solar input, less actual output. Yes, it is handy having that EcoFlow Delta Mini when you have a big requirement, you have a big power source that you want to run, like my chainsaw, then this wouldn't power the chainsaw, whereas the EcoFlow Delta Mini would. So yes, you do have to buy the battery that suits your needs more often, but this suits most of my needs more often than I thought. And I'm using it for more tasks. It's it's just becoming more and more convenient and its convenience is about the portability and about how ergonomic it is. So uh, yeah, I, I hope this review is useful to you that don't just consider the specs because, you know, because this battery isn't the best spec device out there. Its other characteristics are the shape of it, the fact that all of the cables are on the front, the display for the battery size on here um, is all on the front. It's very practical, it's very easy to use. On the negative side, because as you know, I do like to present real world cases and not just, you know, rah, 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 aren't they all brilliant? Um, the display on this one's not as good as the EcoFlow Delta. I prefer the percentage. This shows the battery left in bars that go up and down, whereas the EcoFlow has a nice, very granular percent that you can see um, and tells you how many hours of time that you've got left for the device to run. This one as well, I've noticed, um, when I plug something really small in, like a USB camera, something that's only using a couple of watts, this doesn't show the power usage, it's just showing nothing. Um, whereas the EcoFlow Delta obviously has a more accurate display and actually displays the one, two, three, four watts that it's actually using. So yeah, the display on this, the Bluetti, is not quite as good as the EcoFlow ones, but this is still the one that I pick up and use. And it's like they say, the best camera that you can get is the one that's with you when you want to take the picture. So it's the most practical one in your pocket. And it's the same with this Bluetti, which is the power source that's best. Well, it's the one that's most available to you, the one that you can take with you wherever you go, and the one you've got with you. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this little Bluetti because I didn't think it was going to be my favorite device, but the more and more I've used these different batteries, this is the one I use more often. So thank you very much, Bluetti, for sending me over this battery to try it. Really appreciate it. It's lovely having it. Um, even the other day, uh, my daughter called me up to say we have um, a power cut and she's, her freezer is going to be off and she's going to lose a food content. So I just picked the battery up ran it over in the car and uh, left it with her for a day. It powered her fridge for the rest of the day until the power came back. So a very handy device to have. Other things that I've used it for, just as that sort of thing, so not um, for power on the go, but power at home. We had a situation where power was gonna go off while we had uh, a battery and solar being installed. Obviously life doesn't go on unless you've got an internet connection, so it's really handy to power the internet as well while your home power is off. So I'm really, really enjoying having these portable storage batteries. The usage case for them just goes up. If we go out in the car and we want power, we've got it. If I'm doing something in the garden, I'm not using the extension lead anymore. Um, when I get a shed installed, one of these batteries like this Bluetti will go into the shed and that'll be my power um, provision. I won't have to run an electric cable across to the house. It's just such a practical thing to have. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it makes sense that I'm trying to explain to you my experience of these batteries. 
and yeah this mid-sized is the one that suits me best is the one i'm going to more often so thank you so much for watching thanks for listening to all my waffle really do appreciate it thanks for subscribing to these videos lots more to come uh, one of them that i want to talk about is my octopus energy renewal of my go tariff but equally i also want to talk about my octopus energy air source heat pump survey that's been done and why i'm not going to go with an air source heat pump yeah shock horror controversy now i'm into renewable energy and all these electric things i should be getting an air source heat pump why am i not um, so i'd like to explain that as well and the things i didn't like about the survey from octopus energy and the things that i did like as well i love octopus energy i love what they're doing but it's not going to work out for me i'll do that in a separate video take care see you again for more videos electric cars solar panels all these great things all this great energy so while we've got all these negative things about high electricity tariffs we've got all this positivity with free energy from solar panels and uh, cheap motoring in our electric cars haven't we take care see you again soon for more videos bye for now